file in this photo released by Iranian Presidential Office. President Ibrahim Raisi Center attends the ceremony to hand over domestically produced missiles to armed forces as defense. Minister Mohammad Reza Garai Ashtiani on August 22, 2023, Britain, France and Germany announced on Thursday, September 14, 2023, that they will maintain sanctions against Iran over the Middle Eastern country's atomic program and ballistic missile development. Vienna, Britain, France and Germany announced Thursday that they will maintain sanctions on Iran over the Middle Eastern countries' atomic program and ballistic missile development. The measures were due to end October. In line with the timetable laid out the abrogated nuclear deal between Tehran and world powers. Three European allies known as E3 who helped negotiate the nuclear deal said in a joint statement that they would maintain sanctions in direct response to Iran's persistent and serious non-compliance. With deal, it will be called the Joint Comprehensive Plan of Action, or JCPOA. These include freezing the assets of many Iranian individuals and entities involved in the nuclear and ballistic missile program. Iran violated sanctions by developing and testing ballistic missiles and sending drones to Russia for its war against Ukraine. E3 said sanctions will remain in place until Tehran fully complies with the deal. According to the agreement eight years ago, sanctions were to expire on October 18. Iran's foreign ministry described Europe's decision as an illegal, provocative action that would hinder cooperation. According to the country's official news agency Erna, the actions of European parties will certainly have negative effects on efforts to manage tensions and create a conducive environment for further cooperation between the JCPOA parties. Ministry said, the 2015 nuclear deal aimed to ensure that Iran did not develop atomic weapons. Under the agreement, Tehran agreed to limit its uranium enrichment to levels required for nuclear energy in exchange for the lifting of economic sanctions. In 2018, then-President Donald Trump unilaterally withdrew the United States from the agreement, saying he would negotiate for a stronger agreement. But this did not happen. A year later, Iran began violating the terms and is now enriching uranium to nearly weapons level. According to a report by the United Nations nuclear watchdog, Official talks to find a roadmap to restart the deal failed in August 2022. In the statement, it was stated that E3 informed the European Union's foreign policy chief Josep Borrell about their decisions. Borrell said that he forwarded E3 letter to the other signatories of 2015 agreement. The development comes at a sensitive time as the United States prepares to finalize a prisoner swap with Iran that would include unfreezing $6 billion worth of Iranian assets held in South Korean banks. U.S. State Department spokesman Matthew Miller told reporters that Washington was in contact 